Hey guys, how you doing? So this is going to be your bi-monthly tarot reading. I didn't realize I was three days late already. Sorry. <laughs> Got sick and it's held me back for, oh, I don't know, three days or so. Trying to catch up. So here we go. See what's going to go on with you guys for the rest of the month. Until February. Okay, well, let me pull another couple cards out before I start talking about that. I probably, I like to pull them when you guys are on here so you can see that I didn't actually pull them, but they pop out. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy, I didn't mean to take all of those. No, that's way too much. Sorry. Usually I would take them, but that is way too much. If they're meant to come out, they will come back out. See? <laughs> that's about half of the cards that um, had popped out earlier. All right, so first things first. Let's get these cards situated, and I'll get to the reading. All right, first of all, there's some karma coming. Okay, I don't know what happened. Somebody could have cheated on you or hmm, or somebody somebody cheated on you or they made you feel betrayed in some sort of way. This is an awakening too. Also, if you have you've been stuck in the past, stuck in past emotions. This is a really emotional time. A lot of um, trauma and tragedy, tragedies are happening, and we have the full moon in Leo coming up. So, full moon sometimes things end, and something's definitely ending here because we also have the card of death. Okay, but I don't feel this is not a person. This could be an end to the way you're feeling. This could be an end to the way that you're thinking. Whatever it is, it's fate. It's destiny. It's supposed to happen. This could be an awakening. Um, cut. I hate to say it because readings aren't, this reading isn't just for today. This reading covers January 15th through the 31st, but this can happen at any time. Okay. Uh, time is fluid. When you come across this, if you accidentally stumbled across this, it may be pertinent to you. If you guys are like my daily watchers or you guys watch my videos, then it may not necessarily apply to you com uh, completely, but I will probably hit on some points that will make some sense for you. So there's something that's coming to an end. It's like this awakening is is a wake-up call something's going to happen wow some of you guys might just end the relationship there might be the end uh, an end to a relationship coming either somebody can pass away or you can decide decide that it's time to choose correctly it's time to stop to start treating yourself with love and you might end up having to get rid of somebody the red stars there's two red stars yeah you guys might be dumping somebody this looks like you guys are getting rid of somebody toxic in your life, okay? Somebody who plays the victim, somebody who betrays you, someone who does not make you feel safe, someone who... manipulates you. This, of course, can be transformation death doesn't always have to be the end of something it can be a transmuting of one energy into another so if you've been really really emotional this could be the time when you process it this could be the time when you make the correct choice and face 
your emotions. It's time to deal and heal, okay? A lot of people are going to have trouble with that, but it looks like you're going to be faced with some kind of circumstances in which you cannot avoid dealing with something emotionally. Yep, see, Eight of Swords reversed. It's being indecisive. I mean, right side up, it me. it's being indecisive. Something is out of balance. You're not sure of which way to go. And reversed is like... You don't have a choice. You have to go this way. So yet another card that says you're going to have to face your karma very, very shortly here. Or you're going to have something happen very, very shortly that's going to wake you up and get your attention. Princess of Wands. Okay, it's starting to smell more like a relationship with the Princess of Wands. This is uh, impulsive communication. It's like jumping the gun or it's just throwing a lot of energy at somebody Why while you're communicating you with them <laughs> in a passionate way. Uh, this is like, I can't do this anymore. Shape up or ship out. So it looks like possibly if you're in a love relationship, somebody may be telling you or you may be telling somebody to shape up or ship out that you cannot deal with this. That could be what this death and judgment is. At the same time, it could be an external event, something happening to somebody to make them face themselves. <coughs> wow. Yeah, this person needs to wake up because, first of all, they're not happy. They're not happy. They're not really thinking about it. Why do I smell earth energy here? Um, it's... I don't see a lot of work cards, but they're not thinking about it. So they're doing something that's distracting them from doing the mental work. Or they're having issues doing the mental work. Regardless, they're not happy right now. And they're also not quieting the mind. There's a lot of thoughts apparently going through this person's mind. I would say with the hermit, it's analysis paralysis. But there's no analysis paralysis. This is having to make a choice immediately and not looking back. Six of Wands, overcoming a major hurdle. There's some kind of problem that has to be solved and everybody's watching, okay? They're watching what you're gonna do. They're taking notice of how you're healing and dealing. Whatever this situation is that's going to force you to make some kind of decision, there are people watching you, okay? They're inspired by you, you inspire them. Or maybe you're watching somebody else going through this and the way they're moving through and conquering these things. Ooh. The way that they're conquering this, it's motivating you to heal also. What did I just see? Um, the card of Scorpio. This can't be karma and obsession. Okay, so there's some kind of obsessive, repetitive thinking that not necessarily a habit, but there's something here that's being analyzed or they're avoiding thinking, avoiding analyzing something, or they cannot think, or they cannot analyze something. They're forced to move quickly without thinking. Or you better be careful about what you do. Think before you act. Think before you speak. Because this might, uh, this is like tower energy coming down. Okay, these two combined feel like the tower. We have Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about reciprocity, giving and taking, being generous. This is also about, uh, number six is about something from the past. Okay, so... There's something from the past that's owed to you, okay? So you're about to receive. <laughs> I don't know if you lend somebody money or if you lost, like, let's say you lost a ring a long time ago. Suddenly it's going to show up or somebody's going to let you know that they found it. Although I don't see any communication, so this is more like found money or something of value. Not necessarily something you love, but you could love whatever it is, this could be an old boss coming back, 
This could be the moneymaker in the family coming back. This could be possessions returned to you. Like if you're having a lawsuit right now, you might end up getting your stuff back. I'm not sure. Um, it's so open on what that could be. But we have six of pentacles and six of wands. So there's some. This is money coming back to you for something you did in the past okay and it's some kind of victory of some sort i don't know if you have a business then this could have been some kind of deal that you initiated in the past that you just conquered or the beginning of some kind of new monetary deal or related to your business that you've started moving on and i think that the six of pentacles will probably come back after this happens, after this shit gets knocked off, <laughs> either after you get rid of that person or you figure out how to deal with the emotions that you're feeling from whatever trauma it is you've experienced. Now, I'm not just talking about a fresh trauma experience. I'm talking about trauma from your whole life and the one before that or from lifetimes before that. Mm, okay, well, we got three sixes now. Six, six, six. Six is the number of the caregiver, okay? So don't, like, freak out on that. Six is about healing. Uh, it's social responsibility. It's showing your love through service. This is the caregiver, the healer, the light worker's number. Okay, so somebody here might be realizing that they're supposed to help other people. Somebody might be realizing that they are a light worker. Especially with somebody watching you. It's like they're watching you to see what you're going to do. They're watching you as you jump over the hurdles and conquer. The Six of Swords. Oh, we got four sixes. The Lovers. Wow. Six of Swords is about uh, karmic lessons that you never have to learn again. So this is definitely a karmic lesson. Whatever's being killed off, as in, you know, death, whatever you're getting rid of, whatever's ending because of this karma, it's supposed to happen. This is destiny and it's fate. You've got four sixes here. Um, what can I say? Jackpot. So it looks like the past is here. The past is here for a reckoning. And what is the reckoning? You are going to kill it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it that way. Um, purging yourself of the past once and for all. Um, unchaining yourself from, from those burdens, from those ghosts. Seven of Swords. This is verbal opposition. This is like somebody saying, no, you can't. You can't blank, blank, blank. Whatever you're going to stop doing or whatever you're killing off or whatever the other person is working on stopping, maybe it, it's you. Maybe it's you breaking up with somebody or leaving, leaving a toxic situation behind like I was saying before. This is that person um, opposing you for giving you a verbal tongue lashing. I would... Be careful. This is, use caution in all dealings. Opposition, caution in all dealings. Carefully consider your options of what's going on, but decide quickly and move on. Oh, I didn't even get to these. Oh, I did. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, so we got four sixes. How crazy is that? I've never seen four sixes come out. I've seen four sevens come out. We've had threes and nines before. But this is, you know, the past is here. The past is here for you. Oh, yeah. Okay, like, like I was saying. Holy crap. Okay, wait. This is mostly up. There's no... 
and then this is this way. So this would be reversed. Oh boy. This is this way, so this is also reversed on the lovers. Hmm. Okay, so there's definitely some manifesting going on here. Maybe it was, maybe you hoped and wished for this to end, for this feeling to end, for this situation to end, for whatever this is to end. You wish for this karma. <laughs> you wish for this karma. You manifested this karma. Yeah. And today, while I'm filming this, we actually have 1111 and some of the numbers today. So a lot of us may be manifesting this uh, mid-month, but there's always time. This could have already happened. This could be happening right now, or this could happen. <coughs> I see that this reading is for the 15th through the 31st, but... This could actually happen at any time. Uh, the portal has been open since November 11th, and here, here's the 11, 11, 11. So we got four of wands and we got six of wands. So there's going to be some completion to a manifestation, something that you wished, hoped, and asked for. Karma, death of an obsession. And then we have five of wands, competition. This can be... In a conflict, this could be physically fighting with somebody. This could be just, I feel like it's inner conflict though, because we got a lot of things. I, I've only done like next week's horoscope and holy crap, Mercury is kicking our ass hard next week. I, I haven't even looked at the transits for the last week of the month, but with full moon in Leo and breakups going to happen because Leo is about healthy self-esteem. Okay, so a lot of people who are being manipulated, who are the targets of a narcissist or a target of people with addiction, there's definitely going to be some conflict, okay, with them, and there's going to be a lot of conflict in their heads. This is in a turmoil. Somebody's fighting, somebody's fighting their ghosts. I would say get professional help if this gets too hard, but... It shouldn't be that hard. Nothing's fallen yet, okay? This is all Mercury energy. The tower is like when an authority blows up and breaks down. This is not a major authority that's breaking up. This is trimming the fat. This is a refining, okay? So there is an overhaul going on right now. There's a complete major overhaul when this ends, whatever it is. But it's not like a regular tower moment where shit blows the fuck up, okay? Some shit happened. Not that it was on a larger scale, but it feels more internal. There was an argument, and there's inner turmoil, huge inner turmoil. It's, it's very electric, as with the tower Uranus energy. Oh, that's what it is. Mercury moves into Aquarius, so there's a whole bunch of transits with Mercury. So there's like a lot of electricity going on in the brain, not necessarily downloads, but a lot of processing and, uh, wow. So this could be like a sudden shocking change. I'm not sure if it's internal or external. Not sure. Magician is reversed, so somebody is not using their law of attraction, and part of it is because they're not finding their happy place. Um, they're not stilling the mind. They're manifesting something, and it seems like their emotions are taking up so much of their energy that they, they're not really manifesting right now. What's happening? This karma is manifested. This is like they asked for help. And here comes help. <laughs> here, I'm here to help you. But, um, oh boy, um, it does not sound like fun. This feels like some kind of shocking turnover. And this may not, this turnover is not something that's created. This is from the skies above. As above, so below. Hmm.
In fact, like the emotions are taking everything up. All right, guys, I'm about to run out of seconds here. So this is basically no message of love, no determination. There, Once you guys break up, that's it. The toxic relationship is done. There's no... I love you. <laughs> this em these emotions are taking up way too much energy to think about anything else. All right, you guys, have a good day. I mean, have a good day. <laughs> have a good end of the month. Love you guys. Bye.